1050. There we go. 20 cents instantaneously. Covered 24. Covered a bunch of ads at 24, guys. Let's keep it going. Can we get lower? Come on, give me lower. Oh my God, it's added up. Cover more, baby. 1020. Cover more. 1015. Cover more. 1006. Cover more. 1002. Cover more. 998. <laughs> Bro, I'm running out of shares. So I tried Lunar on this bounce here after the death candle. Just a small starter. Because it looks like it just failed. Ideally, I could maybe get some more towards 1140. But this is just a stock that's just been kind of weak pre market. It tried to push at the open and the opening drive failed. So I'm just looking to get a, maybe a potential scalp out of this as AXTI ramps up as well. This is not a size trade for me yet. So Lunar failing for now. So I got a little bit of an ad there. Again, I'm not being aggressive yet. I see this very key support area. 1040s but this is regardless guys regardless this is not a trade that i want to get very heavy on because i feel like it's a little bit crowded so my thought process on this is going to be a nail and bail mentality a scalp mentality so i'm just going to look to scalp on the dips axti good squeeze so normally a stock like this that's failing i would keep adding into this but because I feel like this stock is already a little bit crowded and because I feel like this stock might not pull back as heavy as I want, simply because it's extremely crowded, I want to save my size. What's the lows of this candle? 71. So let's see if 80 is going to break. Carvana, big squeeze up. So this thing just wicked under 80 and came back. A pretty impressive squeeze on Carvana. So because this thing wicked under 80 and came back, I'm gonna look for a small dip to see if I could cover some, but it looks like a wall of sellers is approaching. So let me see. I might be looking for a dip to cover some if 80 reclaims again. So watching to see if 80 reclaims again, but right now it kind of looks a little bit weak. Actually, it looks weak. I'm gonna add. I'm gonna see if I could add. Got a little bit of an ad there. So there was a stacked offer on Lunar in the 1080s. So I'm trying to piggyback that. Let's see. Watching the tape here. What's the lows of this candle? 71. Come on. Break 71. 71 test. 70. 65. 63. 60. Cover some 62. Cover some 58. What's the next support? What's the next support? Draw support. 53 is the next support. Let's see. So again, guys, I'm not using too heavy size here, but still it's adding up. So do you guys understand that trade idea? The trade idea was I was not interested in trading it until I saw this major monumental death candle. And what did I do? I just shorted the bounce. I literally shorted the bounce. This is a pretty textbook MIC trading. And now it looks like 1050 line is gonna break. Remember this key area here, 1040s, 1040s is the key area. If that breaks, it could wash out heavier. But I'm not trying to be here all day looking for a move to 876. I'm here, it's Friday. I'm gonna take my money and run. So let's get a break of 1050. You guys saw those sellers on level two at 1080s and that's why I piggybacked them. Carvana, insane move. So I have two potential things here, guys. I covered down to 90% of my uh, size. I'm either gonna cover more on the dip or I'm gonna look for a bounce to add. I'm gonna slowly see if I can add back some short. AXTI continues to take the money flow. Looter looks very weak actually. Should I chase it? I'm gonna chase a little bit. If it reclaims, you know, 1070s, I'll cover that chase. Okay, it looks like it's reclaiming, so I might just cover up that chase. So I covered up that chase for, what is that? Uh, about a 10 cent loss, no big deal. I'll wait for a better entry. It looked like it was gonna fail 1050, but a double bottom there at 1050 instead, so I'm adjusting. Maybe around 1080, I could get a better ad. 
So right here, guys, right here, I've already locked in nearly 70 cents a share in profit on small size. So watching 1050 to see if 1050 fails, maybe I could get a position of add again. If not, I'll wait for a bounce to add. But I locked in 90% of my profits on this dip. I'm getting a little bit greedy looking for this 1050 break. But because I've locked in profits, it allows me to be a little bit greedy today. Rescaling the bounces slowly. Forty more bounces on Lunar. I'm just gonna keep short of the bounces. Okay, good fail there, Lunar. You see that, guys? Good fail. Watching for a 1050 break. But good shorts on bounces. I covered down here to get a better entry. Watching 1050 break. Watching 1050 break Lunar. Adding Lunar. Lunar's failing. Let me focus on Lunar here. So watching Lunar here, guys. If 1050 breaks, I'll try to get another ad if I can. It's SSR, so it'll be very, very tough to fill. I want to see 1050 break. Why? This was the support, guys. You guys remember the support line I drew pre-market? 1050. Added. 1050. There we go. 20 cents instantaneously. Covered 24. Covered a bunch of ads at 24, guys. Pretty sick trade. Let's keep let's keep it going. Can we get lower? Come on, give me lower. Oh my god, it's added up. Cover more, baby. 1020. Cover more. 1015. Cover more. 1006. Cover more. 1002. Cover more. 998. <laughs> Bro, I'm running out of shares. So do you guys see that 1050 line? Oh my god. All out. 82. That's it. I'm done. What a trade. So let's just review that, guys. Let's review that. Where did I get the 1050 line? Where did I get the 1050 line? You guys see that 1050 line? When it broke the... Oh my god. I'm going to try a quick long there. <laughs> 950. I'm going to try a long. That is pretty ridiculous. 970 sold it. All right. Man. That's pretty... I think that's it, guys. I think, I think I should just call it here. But you guys see that 1050 broke and nearly a dollar a share of downside in two minutes. A dollar a share of downside in two minutes. So unless this thing kind of sets up again, I'm done for the day, baby. This was a very, very, very simple trade and we didn't even have to do anything crazy. All we had to do is wait for the, the tank and short the bounce. That's pretty good. And I even caught along. <laughs> I caught along on that 950. I sold it too soon. All right, let's focus up, guys. Let's focus up. See if we can get a bounce towards, you know, 1020 to reshort. But does everyone understand this trade here? Does everyone understand this trade? When 1050 broke and instantaneously went down, it was instantaneously in my favor. So I just took some money off the table. So yes, I thought the stock was short crowded, but I waited and let the price action tell me otherwise. So pretty sick, it's staying weak. In hindsight, maybe I shouldn't have covered as much, but again, guys, I went in. I went in with the mindset of this being a nail and bell trade. I went in with the mindset of this being a little bit crowded. So yes, it worked in my favor once the confirmation was in, but I stuck to my process. My process tells me to just take the money and run if I feel uncomfortable. I would say that today was a sell the new setup, potentially. Yeah, I could have made more money, but like, God damn, that was relatively simple. So in the past, guys, what I would do is I'd be like, oh my God, I missed the trade. I'm going to size up, I'm going to size up, I'm going to size up. And then I end up giving my profits back. This was a very simple ad, cover, get a better average. And then when 1050 broke, boom, hit it. 
And then when the stock went down instantaneously, 25 cents, instantaneously, I took some off. So today made 11,700 dollars, which brings me to 11,765, brings me to 107 on the month. We hit the goal. We hit the goal. 107. With no red day so far. No red day so far, baby. Let's go. So that's it, guys. That's it. With about 10, 15, 20, 30 minutes of trading, whatever, able to make, you know, 11,000. And if I stick to $11,000, that's about $2.5 million a year. And you guys saw no stress, relatively simple, showing up every day, sticking to the same strategy that we teach all of you. I am not doing anything different than I am teaching you. New people should be paying 500 in here. I definitely agree. So that's it for me, guys. Calling it a day here. Very happy. All green week. Very good week for me. And the profits added up. Thanks, everyone. And I'll see you back at it Monday.